Hi everyone, I'm Lauren with Cadillac Law. I am a Texas lawyer and I'm here to teach you about the law, most specifically in Texas. I'm hopefully also going to make it fun or at least interesting. Now, I'm not giving any legal advice and nothing in this video will create a, an, an attorney-client relationship between the viewer, myself, and my firm. But I do want to share with you the things that us lawyers spend many years learning and many dollars to learn and the things I've learned along the way. So that's why we're here today. And of course, if you need something, we want you to call our office and we would like to help you with your legal issues. So as always, but before we get into the meat, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you hit the bell, you'll get notices and it's free, so you should do it. Hit like if you like it, that will help my algorithms. And if you have a question, please, 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 please put it in the comments so that I can answer it for other people as well. All right, today we are gonna talk about a contract for deed, also known as an executory, executory contract, executory. It sounds such like a strange word. Back in the day in Texas, there used to be this mechanism where I could sell you my house or a house and you could pay on it for 28 of the 30 year uh, loan and you default on one payment and I take the whole house and you get absolutely nothing. And that is what we call a contract for deed and that is illegal in the state of Texas. So don't be entering into these. Don't be trying to convince people to do them. Um, but of course there are instances where a seller might want to be able to uh, be the bank for their buyer. It, particularly when it comes to selling businesses and real estate with business, houses, I mean really anywhere. It's a great investment vehicle and I have another video about seller carry as an investment. If you look below, I'll, I'll have a link to it for you. So the, uh, the question then becomes how do I do that type of setup without breaking the law? And the answer is you look to the Texas Property Code regarding executory contracts. These are allowed under these very tight provisions in the code. And when I say very tight provisions, I mean incredibly tight provisions. This is not the type of one agreement you want to enter into without an attorney's help, particularly if you're the seller. There's a lot of onus on the seller. The seller has a lot of disclosures to make. There's a lot of um, triggering events and dates that the seller needs to follow. And if you don't follow those, you can get sued for a mighty, mighty, mighty penny and you're going to end up losing the property. So these situations can be done. They must be done very carefully and they must be done under the watchful guidance of legal counsel. Sometimes though I have people who have found themselves who have entered into this type of contract, maybe unknowingly, the seller probably did not mean to take on that much liability and the buyer quite frankly just wanted to buy a house. If there, uh, a dispute arises, which they often do, we will sue for the buyer, we will sell, uh, sue the seller under these provisions under the code, and many of them offer triple damage penalties. So if you fail to give yearly accounting of, of how much mortgage has been paid and interest and what the uh, escrow account looks like, there's an X amount of penalty could be trouble damages, all of them allow for attorney's fees. So you do not want to enter in this type of agreement without the handholding of an attorney. If you're already in this type of agreement and you're like, oh no, I have not done this well, you immediately want to call an attorney and find out what to do, find a way to backtrack and to cover your booty, so to speak. Um, and if you're a buyer and you're in this type of agreement, you might want to approach the seller and let them know that you found out this is uh, kind of a poor way to do it and that y'all should talk to a lawyer. But if you're having disagreements with the seller or the seller's trying to evict you or any of those things, then you definitely need to call our office and you definitely need to speak with an attorney about what to do and what causes of action you can use to make sure you protect your home. Executory contracts are Actually, really wonderful. Uh, just completed one for a client buying a business with real estate. It's going to work out great. His seller has a good attorney. The seller has a great attorney who's going to calendar out, you need to do this on this day and this on this day. And as long as you have that, it is a great mechanism to sell your real estate and it's a great mechanism to buy real estate or any other property. And like I said, I've done another video, which you can click to below, about the benefits of seller financing and using seller financing as an investment vehicle. An executory contract is just an extension of that. 
And don't forget, contract for deed is illegal, so don't call it that. Thank you all for joining, and if you need us, our number is 972-845-1200. We'll see you next time.